Welcome to the game. And today we are going to paint Delta One Zero um, NATO troops. Uh, very simple technique. Really, just trying to get them painted and on the board. Uh, uh, as you can see, colors are not difficult, uh, but they look pretty darn good for tabletop. So, um, colors we're going to use. Um, I'm using a German beige from World War Two. A model color from Vallejo. Then we're going to use Barbarian Flesh for the skin tone. We're going to wash the uh, German beige with uh, Athonian Camel Shade. We're then we're going to do the vest backpack area with uh, Contrast Militarum Green. Boots and Gun, <coughs> Black Templar. Where they're going to dry brush everything with ash gray. And then for the base, German orange ochre. We're then going to wash that with Agrax Earth Shade. And then we're going to just give it a, a dry brush of natural wood grain. And that will give us you know, something similar to this. Looks like they've been out in the field. So it does not take very long to get this completed. So uh, we're gonna start with the German beige, World War II. Put a little bit on our palette. As always, add just a little bit of water, just to make sure we have the right brush. Uh, I've been using the same brush a lot. Uh, it's just a standard brush. This one happens to be a Whiz Kids brush. Uh, nothing exciting. Just a little touch of water to thin our paint down and This beige does look very tan. Uh, I mean, it's beige. So, but to get the color, the wash will do that for us, and we'll uh, we'll darken this up. So, uh, these are primed with uh, Grace here, the Citadel primer. All right, so let me get this painted up, and uh, we'll be back. Up is our barbarian flesh or whatever flesh tone you want to use. Uh, I did leave one step out, which we will do later. We're going to use the flesh wash on the uh, barbarian flesh. We'll do that after the Anthonian camo shade just to make sure that the uh, barbarian flesh has a chance to dry. And 
gonna just get all over. Oh, I should get his face really good. And his neck. And it's really just his face because um, I just paint their their hands like they have gloves. Uh, so, Athonian camo shade. All right. So this, I'm gonna use a different brush. This is a wash, and we're going to use this on. the beige that we've already put on. So basically, his pants and his sleeves. And this will fill in and it'll turn this whole thing a nice green. Flash wash. And we'll do his face. And it's not going to take much of this at all because it's such a small area. I'm going to confess I did forget to do this helmet and I did that I've done that on every single one of these models uh, I always forget the helmet so let's do this helmet real quick since we still have the paint on the palette I, I could make up something like oh well, I wanted to get the flesh done first before I did that yeah that's crap I just completely forgot the helmet I don't know why I do that Military green. This is a contrast paint. You do need to shake this up on all this one. It separates a lot. So when you turn them over, if you see that white around the bottom, that's because they need to be separate. That's because they separate. So shake it up really good. Um, now for this, we're going to do the vest and everything. And I'm just going to coat the whole vest. Um, you could do different colors in here if you want. Again, this is to get these, get some paint on them, and get them to the tabletop. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing a lot of the details. You are more than welcome to do that. Because um, he's got like a little med pack. You can paint a little cross. One screen. Yeah, you can paint a little cross uh, red or. You know, however, you, know, you want it to look. to pull and you don't like it just touch it with your brush to get it off 
Let me let that sit. Let's go ahead and go back and wash the helmet with our camo shade. Next up is the Black Templar. Alright, so Black Templar is going to be for his boots and his gloves and the gun. Again, another contrast paint. Get on the model, let it work its magic. Alright, and with the black done, next would be, I would say the ash gray, but the black is still wet, so let's go ahead and work the base. Since we're trying to get these done as quick as possible, orange ochre for the base. I guess I'm going to use a little bit bigger brush, sorry, right there. Water to this just to help it flow better. And let's paint the base. Now, the sand and grit that I have on here, you could use glue and sand or whatever you want. Um, I will probably come back and add, like, you know, since it's... I guess I'm kind of desert theming these bases. Um, I'll come back and put some little weeds or something on it. Grass of some sort. But, uh, you can use that. I used... Um, Sandy faced. Um, picked this up some time ago. It's basically um, a gritty. Uh, it says it's just it's similar to uh, the Games Workshop stuff. It's just you know for thirteen bucks you get a huge bottle of it rather than for seven bucks you get a tiny little thing of Astro Granite. Um, I'll paint it gray or whatever color I want. If, save the money. Uh, I've had it and I've been using it for a while. It's lasted me a while. I still have over half of it left. Um, but I just put those on the, on the, put that stuff on the base before, uh, once I glued him on, put that stuff on, primed everything together. Okay, um, and the edge of the base is going to be the same over color, but we're going to come back and we're going to touch that up once the model is done. What we're going to do now is ash gray. Uh, and this, we're just going to do a light dry brush over the whole model. Uh, so, we're going to take our dry brush. And then on the napkin, we're going to wipe most of it off, like so, until we only get a little bit left. And then you really just kind of flick it back and forth just so it helps pick up the raised detail. And then with the black to help give the black that ashed over look. 
but then I do the whole model just to pick out the edges, some of the details, just to help them look. Because they're in a war zone, so there's going to be dust, there's going to be dirt, and this to me just kind of gives them that look, and with that, we're going to call it done. We're moving on to go ahead and get the Agrax Earthshade on the base. Again, it's just a wash. So I'm going to use a big brush. And we're just going to put it all over. So down to second to last step, I'm going to use the natural wood grain just to do a light dry brush over the base just to lighten it up a little bit. We have some grass tops. I actually think these would probably look pretty good. Just to kind of give it that look. Um, I always glue these down. the base rim finished drying and calling done. All right, uh, I'll be back with some final thoughts. All right, and with just a few colors, you have uh, a little bit of time. Literally, that's our colors right there. Um, do you get these guys painted? I think uh, with all the video not counting drying times, the model took probably 25-ish minutes uh, to do. Do them in a conveyor belt, and you can easily have the entire force. Um, the six that came in the box set, and I added, you know, the extras that I bought, just different color, different color variations, uh, made their vest black versus the green, just to separate them out. But there you go. Um, not difficult, not uh, too time consuming. Get them tabletop ready in an evening. Anyway, thanks for watching, as always. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, let us know what you think. Uh, I'm still anxious to get Delta 1-0 on the board. Need to get the uh, the other force painted. Yeah, NES. Uh, get those painted up pretty next, and uh, then we'll get this game on, and we'll see how, see how it plays out. So, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you next time.